Hello everybody, this is, yeah, and today I'm going to show you how to get a Windows 7 VM powered on and ready to go for your choice of anything. But the reason I'm making this video because it is insanely easy to make one of your own, but it is hard on actually making it, but setting these IE ones are hard, the internet edge or whatever. Um, this was from the dev.microsoft, so it it has a little bit, it has a little twist. It's pretty quirky, as I would say. And so, if we try to get this emptied out, and you get dev out, dev, dev, okay, dev. Um, here's the link right here. You can just copy it down. Just pause it. Yeah. And once once you get there. Because it is really easy to do this, and this is just before I do the setup. And so let's let's go on IE11 on Windows 7 and VirtualBox. Because I don't even know what those are. So let's get VirtualBox, and then I download zip. Um, you get it, and you extract the file that came up, and you should get this. It's IE11, and it kind of looks like this box. You just click OK. And this should pop up after a little second. And so let's set it up and let's get it all started. So, yeah, that is what it is all about. So it's now starting up. And yeah, so um, it takes a little like minute. So if you don't have any patience, just don't don't even like just get off <laughs> well it's not that long see now it's loading as you can see so once you click in it is now disappeared and stuff you know what I mean it's gone right now and so right when it boots up it should be saying welcome so um, just a little bit more time okay so now this is the this is the Windows thing inside. There you go. Now it's booting up, but this is not all. Not all. You're still not ready yet. So what are you going to do to get the best out of here is to make it really user friendly to you. So once this logs in, it's going to be a little bit here you are. So it's gonna give you with the welcoming sound and this is this is what shows up. It's kind of scary, but just make it public network because obviously. So let's you are automatically on the IE user, which is pretty weird and creepy. If you didn't make that account. Um no ISO needed and it is legal too, so let's make a new account and let's just call it my name and let's let's make it administrator because you want to be an administrator because you're the owner of the computer right oh okay so after that you can now log out of your account and you can log in it is still the same exact thing it will make your background different so let's sign into Nick let's get that set up from there you can delete IE user from there but it will come back if you if you shut down this computer manually. I recommend you to make a shortcut order that's called right here. So once once it boots up and it's on the desktop, I recommend you to go to machine and take the snapshot. So there you go. So let's just get everything booted and then there we go. So now that we have that, we can actually go to personalize. And let's just do the normal Windows 7 theme because I like it. Okay. So now we just have the usual account. Now let's just download our internet and other factory defaults we normally have. Or defaults, I don't care. So let's get Google Chrome out. I, I want to try Chromium or whatever. Chromium.org. 
And yeah, so. Yeah, so let's, let's just. Yeah, it's pretty slow. I don't know why. Oh, there you go. So, I don't know. Let's just... I just want to try this out because I haven't tried this out in a long time. Okay, Chromium. I really don't know what Chromium is, so let's just test it. And yeah, so... Um, let's get out of full browser. And we'll download Chromium. So, yeah, downloading, it's downloading from the site, so that's good, it's better than the usual, because it, down it automatically downloads to your folder, for some reason, there you go, there you go, okay, I can't see anything, oh, oh, what is what's happening right now? Okay, so it's downloaded. Um oh, okay. Well let's just I'm so dumb. Why did I download from there? It's way easier for me. Chrome. Why did I do that? I just wasted time. So let's just say you already downloaded it and now you have your default you have your default thing. And yeah, so internet. I know I'm I'm a noob, I'm using Internet Explorer right now. Oh my god. So Um, I, I don't, I don't use this as much, so, <laughs> no, so let's just say it's normal, so, you have this, let's take a snapshot, let's just call it default, let's click OK, and now, once it saves, let's save the snapshot, and boom, now, if you reboot this system, if you click power off the machine, it will, um, without the restore, it will go back to factory defaults, and it'll be the same. But click restore current snapshot, and then it'll power off the machine. And while it's doing that, it'll be restoring. And boom, now you have your own system, and once you start it back up, it should be straight from where it started. So get it on it's gonna restore about like a few seconds okay well that wouldn't be happening but my computer is pretty bad so they shouldn't if this is if this is happening to you then just comment below and I'll fix the problem maybe because the snapshot doesn't work as well so yeah It's probably going to keep on blue screening, but who cares? Thanks for watching. Hope you liked the video and hope you enjoyed and helped you get a better VM. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.